in this lesson we're going to switch gears a bit and configure integrated terminal. So in order to open up integrated terminal in VS Code, we can run the following command toggle terminal in command palette. And as a reminder to open up this command palette, we can use keyboard shortcut command shift P or on Windows control shift P. Another way to open up integrated terminal is by using this keyboard shortcut. And this is how integrated VS Code terminal looks like. By the way, it still uses the full shell of the operating system. And on macOS operating system, the default shell is ZSH. So now we're gonna try to improve this integrated terminal a little bit by installing the following extension, which is called OhMyZSH. This is actually a very popular plugin for the shell ZSH which adds lots of useful different features to the shell. In this lesson I'm going to demonstrate the installation process by using macOS operating system, and most likely for Windows this process will be different. But I'm going to leave the link in this video description with detailed instructions how OhMyZSH can be installed on Windows systems. And before installing this extension we need to make sure that we have ZSH installed. We can do so by running the following command in the terminal. And if this command will print out the version of the ZSH, that means ZSH is installed. And then we also have to make sure that ZSH shell is actually the default shell of operating system. So when we run this command and we get similar output, that means ZSH is used as the default shell. So we can proceed with an installation of my ZSH. But if ZSH is not installed, or for example, it is not used as the default shell of operating system, there is more information on this page, which shows how to install ZSH, and also how to make a default shell on many different operating systems. So now let's get back to the installation of oh my ZSH extension. This is pretty easy, we just need to run the following command in our terminal. So let's do it. After successful installation, this command also creates configuration file .zshrc in the root folder of the current user. And right away we can also notice that the terminal has changed its look. This is the result of oh my zsh extension, which also provides us with several themes. And the default color theme was automatically activated. Now we're gonna install one more extension, which is called Starship. This is so-called prompt for the terminal. The line which shows us which folder we're currently at in the terminal and some other information. And also the installation process for Windows user might be different, so I'm going to leave the link in the video description with instructions how to install this prompt on Windows. So here it says that before installing this extension we also need to make sure that we install special fonts called Nerd Fonts. We're going to skip this step for now and install all necessary fonts in the next lesson. And now let's proceed to the installation. So to install Starship we have to run this command in our terminal. I'm gonna do so. Here we need to confirm the default path where the executable file of the Starship will be located. And also, if we are asked for our password, let's type it in and installation will be successfully finished. Next, we need to enable this prompt in our ZSH configuration file. So to do it, we have to paste the following line in our ZSHRC file. I'm going to open up .zshrc file in VS Code and write at the end paste that line. After saving the file, Starship prompt should be activated. And we can make sure if everything went well by opening up another terminal tab. And if this prompt looks different now, similar to this, that means Starship prompt was successfully installed. But as you can see, some special characters are not properly displayed. This is because we are still missing some special fonts, which we're going to install in the next lesson. So as for now, we have installed all necessary additional tools to make our terminal look better. In the next lesson, we'll get to configuring VS Code Terminal.